who's now how, guys. Hey, still haven't figured out a name for my new channel, guys. I could really use you guys' help, man, if you guys can give me some ideas. It's going to be related to space and science and... I'm going to be looking, you know, I'm going to be going through YouTube and looking at just some crazy videos, you know, weird videos, people that have weird beliefs, you know, just the weirdos of the world, you know. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good name. <laughs> now, come on, guys, give me some good ideas. But anyway, today's going to be on the firmament, okay? For those of you that don't know, the firmament, flat earthers believe, is a dome that goes over the earth, it could be made out of whatever. Some think it's made out of glass, a uh, volcanic glass, which is obsidian. Um, some think it's a com big giant computer screen because they don't believe they believe beyond the uh, firmaments the ether, which is basically water, fluid of some sort. Um, so, yeah, uh, crazy. I know, but some believe it's like a big LED screen that. Um, the uh, that they project things up on the dome for us to see, like the stars and stuff. Um, they believe that the sun and the earth, moon are inside the dome with us. Now, I've even ran across guys who, um, <laughs> a guy who thinks that um, <laughs> there was a giant holographic projector in the North Pole. Now, hear me right, guys. There's a giant holographic projector in the north pole and he said that he pondered on this and he gave it these now these are his words you guys he gave this subject great thought weeks of thought just he just pondered it his his every waking moment and he finally come to the conclusion you guys that the reason why we have never found found the holographic projector that's in the North Pole is because of the Antarctic Peace Treaty. Yep, you heard me. The Antarctic Peace Treaty. Yeah, guys. Okay, so then you got these guys who think that um, it's a big lens uh, that they project things on. Uh, somebody, the, the infamous they, you know, I guess they mean the government. I guess you know us. Gov our you know our governments can't work together. You know we can't work with China and, and North Korea and Iran, but we work with these guys to keep keep um, people from going to the ice wall that circles the Earth, which is considered Antarctic, because the members of the UN uh, UN the United Nations has joined forces, their military forces, and patrol. The ice wall so that nobody can fly or sail a ship there. And if you do, they will kill you. They will shoot you down or sink you. So, yeah. <clears throat> I have a few questions about that. One, who washes the dome? Who is up there sticking to the wall, to the glass dome and cleaning it? Because of all the pollution in the earth on earth, that dome has to get pretty damn dirty. Who's washing it? Is there some big giant windshield wipers that we don't know about? Is it really when it rains, they're washing the dome with the windshield wiper sprayers and it just looks like it's raining because the water that don't hit that comes down and falls on us. That's what really rain is. Oh, shit. I probably just gave them an idea. <laughs> anyway. Ooh, it's cold, guys. Anyway. Uh. Who changes the lenses, the LED lights when they go out? Who built the damn thing? How come in all the couple thousand years of us sailing as a species, we've never bumped into it? Is it because there's an ice dome all the way around, or an ice wall all the way around it? How come nobody's come up to this, sailed up to this, or flew up to this ice wall and be like, huh? I wonder what that is, and got when a you know sailed up to it or landed on it and, and investigated it. Is it because they have and the UN military forces have killed them? Uh, I mean, I guess maybe that's a thought. I mean, it's all I can think of. So, um, 
How come when we shoot rockets up in, into space, they don't hit nothing? Do they just divert their their the rockets right before impact and they fall back to the ocean? Because that's what most flat, flat earthers believe is that the, they go up till we can't see them anymore and then they divert them and they fall in the ocean and that's the end of them. That there's never any people on them, on the rockets. Um, so... just blows me away where do meteorites come from you guys i mean i've heard a couple of people say one person said angel tears and another person said that it's parts of the firmament breaking off and falling to earth um yeah so so now we just have this malfunction dome over our head with a a big hole in it? How come we can't see out into the... How come the ether beyond the firmament, when it breaks off, how come it just doesn't come flowing in here like water? Because supposedly it's supposed to be a fluid. So if a big hunks... So if big hunks fall off the the firmament, like every time we see a meteorite, how come we don't see a bunch of, like, black holes up there or something in the sky? Um, How come water don't fly in on us um shit like that you know so kind of you know to me this whole dome thing is as stupid as water always finds its level and water's always level water takes the form of whatever is the easiest for it to form to because of gravity gravity pushes down on every molecule of water Therefore, it makes it flat. Or, you know, when it's on the ground, it makes it flat. But when rain starts off, the easiest form for rain to take is a sphere. Hence, the last picture on this video will be a picture of curved water. So, everybody remember that after this video, to stay on, because it will be a couple seconds afterwards... There will be a video of showing, or there will be a picture showing curved water. But that's not possible, right guys? Right? To these flat earthers, they say, water doesn't curve. Well, water inside of a level, the bubble you see inside there, what's that water doing around that bubble? It's curving around that bubble. So, anyway. But yeah, so, you know, that's, that's... You know, the firm, I'm just going to go off. I'm going to do an episode every night or two about what they believe. Tonight's just going to be the easy episode, is because it's the firmament. And they had, see, with flat earthers, they, they want us to provide all the proof. I don't play that game. I'm not the one saying that, making claims. Our heliocentric model works just fine, it explains everything. It explains everything. Their flat earth can't even explain a sunset and a sunrise. So, you know, kind of, I'm not the one that has to prove, you know, I'm fine in my belief that this globe, that it's a globe, it's just a spheroid, you know. Um, They're the ones saying, oh, it's flat, like a disc or like a pizza or, you know, the many other thousand different, you know, kinds of shapes they want to say it is, you know, but it's just ultimately boils down to it's flat, but whatever. Uh, was watching one today where the guy said, oh, it's flat, but it has a core. Like, what the, f- what? It's flat, but it has a core. What the fuck, what? Yeah, just the type of stuff they say. I mean, you guys are going to, it's going to blow your mind when... I go through all these guys because it's going to trip you. You're going to be like, what? What? oh my God, are you serious? This guy today I was watching saying how all the things that we believe in the heliocentric model is false, is lies. But Ragnarok was real. And we have a pressure gradient from 14.7 psi on the ground that eventually fall, um, flows down to zero when you get to outer space and that's because and he you know 
he was asked, how can you explain that? You know, how can you explain that? He said, because there used to be a giant tree on earth that rose all the way up to the dome. And the roots of the tree, every other tree is, on earth was born. So, yeah. And that's where we get the coal we have, is the coal was actually the roots of that tree. Yep, it's, I'm telling you guys, some of the things that people believe are out of this world. It's it's going to be a great channel when I get it going. I hope everybody comes over and subs because it's going to be a great channel. I'm really probably not going to start the channel until I learn how to edit. So I'm slowly learning how to edit. Um, I'd like to take a course on it so that I can get really good at it. So I'm maybe doing that. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. But but anyway, I'm freezing to death. Um, anybody can think of some names for my new channel that I'm going to be making. I'd appreciate it. Um, if you guys have heard any other crazy things that Flat Earth say, Flat Earthers say, feel free to put it in the comments. Uh, should be pretty fun, guys. Uh, I can't wait to get this channel going. Um, you know, like I said, it's going to be more scientific -y, but scientific -y, <laughs> if you want to say. And it's going to be, and it's going to be, you know, I'm going to be able to edit. So it's going to have some good, you know, good footage. It's going to have some good content, you know. So um, I want to be a good YouTube creator. Um, just this sitting around talking is for the birds, you know. It's, it's all good and great, but it's not going to grab the attention of people. And that's what I want. I want people to come to my channel and view my, my content and like it, you know. So everybody, that's this is uh, Flurf Say the Dumbest Things, Volume 1. <laughs> the firm, the firmament, <laughs> aka the dome in, over our heads, you know. So, everybody be cool. You know, guys, got to remember something. With that firmament comes everything to do with outer space that's fake. Everything. I'm, I'm talking to a guy that's commenting on my channel. I don't know if he was a subscriber. I think he might have been. He's, Agav 1969 this guy's a flat earther he's like oh I've got you don't know nothing I've got a hundreds of videos uh, to show proof of my flat earth I'm like ah so we have a somebody who graduated from the University of YouTube awesome I told him I'd debate him uh, I have a friend that has a, a channel he gets about a thousand to 2,000 people in every live stream. If this guy wants... Agav, if you want to come debate me over there, come on, man. Uh, bring your positive evidence for a flat earth. Now, before you say, yeah, you'll debate me and we make arrangements, make sure you understand what positive evidence is. It's not a YouTube picture, Okay. So, just so you know, it's not a YouTube picture. All right? So, y'all be cool. News Not Ohio, signing out.